呀咿哟咿吽，啊呀咿哟咿吽，啊呀咿哟咿吽来咿哟。啊哈来沙哈来，沙巴的沙巴的卡，让我在这里欢迎你到来。啊呀咿哟咿吽，啊呀咿哟咿吽。And it's especially busy here at Eng Bi Tin, a Chinese confectionery that's a household name among the Chinois. Normally, in other parts of the world, you don't get to see mooncakes the whole year round. But here in Binondo, in in Eng Bi Tin, you actually get to see them the whole year round. But especially during the Mid Autumn Festival, sales of mooncakes are really going high. Okay, now, see you go. Huh? <laughs> Jerick is a fourth-generation Filipino Chinese. Eight years ago, he took over this century-old Chinese deli, passed down by his great-grandfather Chua Chu Hong, who opened it all the way back in 1912. Eng Bi Tin now has 23 stores spread across Metro Manila. The business was built on its popular traditional Chinese pastries, but the star of the store is the Ho Pia, a Chinese-style pastry. In the 1980s, instead of the bean paste and meat fillings that customers were familiar with, Eng Bi Tin created one filled with yam, or ube, which the Filipinos call it. Ube Ho Pia became an instant hit and has since become an important part of Eng Bi Tin's identity. Because uh, hopia is ube is purple yam, that's why it's colored purple. It's very usual for us to be wearing uh, purple. Not only us, but even our staff. It's seen in everywhere that we have. It's our only way to pay homage to hopia ube, uh, and a way for us to, you know, to remember where where we first started. Chinois from across Manila swarm the shop daily, before getting deeper into the spirit of the festivities. One built as recently as 2015 to celebrate the new diplomatic relationship, and the other much older, marking a centuries-long friendship. The Mid-Autumn Festival is just two days away. And for the folks at Ing Bi Tin, it can only mean working flat out and at full speed to meet anticipated demand. To keep up with the demand when it comes to producing mooncakes, we actually had to do it automatically. Each machine can actually make at least 60 pieces of mooncake per minute. So we can make thousands of mooncakes a day without any problems. Leading up to the Mid-Autumn Festival, Eng Bi Tin produces 2,000 mooncakes a day. That's more than double their usual production rate. But Jerry can handle the heat in more ways than one. Like his father before him, Jerry is a volunteer firefighter. And the father and son team also run the Chuan Ki restaurant. The two-story establishment also houses a cafe upstairs that's better known among residents as the Fireman Coffee Shop. Jerick's father inherited the restaurant from his godfather. My dad had another condition if he will take the business. He said, I will agree to take the business if you will allow me to convert the second floor into a coffee shop, that 100% of the earnings will be donated to the fire, to the fire cause. Firefighting is a passion among the Chinoy men, and enrolling as a volunteer fireman in Benondo is almost a rite of passage. It is, however, a tradition born out of the ashes of tragedy. So we're currently uh, in this part of Chinatown where you'll see some of the buildings here are not really that old. The reason behind this is because in the 1960s, uh, a huge part of Chinatown, especially this part, was uh, burnt down to a crisp. The fire in 1964 wiped out hundreds of Chinoy businesses and homes. Government firefighters on the scene sorely lacked the equipment and expertise to put out the inferno. 
but the community would turn adversity into strength and come together and form the Philippines' first volunteer fire brigade. It's a way for the, the Chinese community to protect the, the businesses and the houses of those people who live here. Binondo's Volunteer Fire Brigade, which is run by Jarek and his father, is funded by Chinese businesses and associations and manned by members of the community. So this is what we call the Ube Pumper. It's no coincidence that they're exactly the shade of purple, or Ube, that's the color of Jarek's signature Ube fillings in his pastries. The Ube fire trucks also have a distinct advantage over the regular, bigger ones. Here in Metro Manila, we have a lot of very small streets, and we use this to combat fire in those small areas where our big fire trucks would not be able to fit. While Binondo's firefighters keep their streets safe, back in Binondo, everyone is going shopping. It's September 15 today, and it's Moon Festival. So I'm buying Hopia, my favorite, the buko pandan with coconut and mooncake. On the first day of festivities, families get together for a customary reunion and to play games like the evergreen Huat Tiong Chu. It is a traditional game of dice that is played during the mid-autumn festival. It used to be in, when I was younger, we played for mooncakes. You throw six dice. If you get one four, you get the lowest prize. You get two pieces of four, you get the second prize. Until you get the grand prize, which is a giant mooncake. 